It is January 14th of Start Now 2020. This is Delta Tango Mike with another Thriving Artist Art Life Short. Whew. Every day it gets easier to say all that. I don't know why I do that to myself. In any case, today I want to talk about uh, something that uh, I see a lot of artists uh, struggle with and come across in their art career, including myself. This has happened to me. And, uh, and so what I want to start with is that uh, give a suggestion to all artists, emerging artists, working artists, artists of any level, is to please add this suggestion to your uh, to-do list. And that is to always have a backup. Find a way to have a backup. A backup of your files. As you can see, I got a couple of um, external drives sitting there. I back, up external, uh, I back up my files to external drives. A backup computer. I have a couple computers. I have several, as a matter of fact. Um, um, a few years ago, a friend of mine and I, we used to uh, joke about how many computers we had. And I don't know, it just became a thing where I'm kind of paranoid that if I don't have a working computer to do my work, then I won't be able to do the work that I want to do and get paid for it. So you must always have a backup computer. It's tough. It's not easy. Computers are not cheap. I understand. But it's taken me years to collect a couple computers that I can count on. And now I feel pretty secure that no matter what happens to any one of my machines, and I've suffered some devastating losses. Uh, in the past year, I've had two surfaces, two surface devices break on me um, by accident. There were accidents. And, uh, but as much as it hurt to lose the ability to use that machine, I was okay knowing that I had a backup that I could then put into work, put to work and not lose any productivity. So it's important to always have a backup. Another backup to keep in mind is backup art materials. So anytime I need art materials for a particular project, I always get extra materials just in case. If I need seven canvases, I'm going to get 12. If I need, uh, one set, if I need a, um, um, a gallon of paint of each color, I'm going to get two gallons. I'm always going to get extra just in case I need some later, so just in case I lose something, something in case some kind of situation arises, I know that I have what I need to produce my work. Always have a backup. Work on trying to get backup of stuff that you know you want to have available for your art career. The worst thing that could happen besides the loss is um, coming across as unprofessional to your client with excuses like, well, my computer broke or uh, my system is down. That's why I can't get, the, can't get to your project in time as I promised you. Uh, we want, as artists, as creative people, we want to be able to be on time, be professional, uh, be reliable to our clients and that means that our personal problems or our business problems should not be the problem of the client have a backup now what are some options in case you don't have a backup and you're working your way there right after today you're like yeah Dan I'm gonna focus on that having backups but right now I don't have a backup so what's another option well let me look at my list so I can tell you Local libraries have some, some local libraries have labs. Make sure, check on your local library. If, if it's the one in your neighborhood doesn't have a tech lab, then look for the libraries that do. Make sure you go in and get to know your librarians, get to know the equipment that's in the tech labs and the, um, the, the uh, rules so that you can come in and use them when you need to. A long, long time ago, uh, a friend of ours came when we used to have a tattoo shop. A friend of ours stopped by, asked if he could use our computer so he could finish a project, and he was going to give us some money uh, just for the use of our computer for a few hours. And we were like, okay, cool. We didn't think much about it. He sat there and worked all day on a project because somehow something happened to his computer and he couldn't finish the work, so he showed up at our space. Um, the library, that is what it's there for. But there's other places, right? Other places include arts organizations. There are some arts organizations who may have some equipment that you could come and use. Um, I can't think of one in Atlanta. I know there used to be a place called Wonder Root and they had a computer lab. I can't think of one that's doing that now, but 
if you're in, not in Atlanta and maybe your town does have something like that, check into it. And if not, think about, hmm, what could you do to start one like that? All right, maker spaces. Maker spaces that they exist all over the world, right? There's, uh, there's different areas of town that may have a maker space. They have computers, they have machines. As a member of the maker space, you have access to certain things. Check on your local maker space. Join a maker space today. Uh, co-working spaces. There may be some co-working spaces that allow that have extra systems or uh, equipment that you can use. I, I used to be a member of the Atlanta Tech Village and uh, I would come prepared with my stuff. Sometimes I forget something and there's always someone who's willing to help out, who's willing to work with you, who's willing to lend you something for that day. So build good relationships at your local co-working space. And lastly, look into collaborations and internships. Yes, look around, and if they, you don't see the opportunity um, in the local organizations, then look at local artists, artists who are doing the work that you like to do, and ask them, hey, you know, are you, look at, uh, are you interested in uh, collaboration? I'd like to invest a little bit of time with you, working with you on a particular project, if you feel like my skills can be helpful in some way. And maybe they have a second machine that you can come and use. Those are just different ideas that are going to, allow you to start building that backup that you need. It may not be a backup that you have in your house or in your office, but it may be a backup where you can call somebody and say, hey, you know, I got a project that I'm working on. My computer's a little bit funny. Can I stop by and work out of your space using one of your machines? Hmm. Okay, here's the biggest tip of them all. And, uh, and, and, and it's not a secret because I talk about it all the time. But this is what I want you to do from now on. You need a machine. You, know that you need access to a computer to do some real hardcore Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, most common Adobe Creative software, or even Sketchable. Head on down to your local Microsoft store. All right? Walk on in. Bring some stickers of your work. Bring something that you can give away that has your artwork in it. And if I, at the very least, if you don't have stickers the way I used to, I hand out my stickers and I can, and I should have had some a second ago, but you know, I make stickers on my work and then I, and I give them away. Bring some stickers that you draw on, on uh, labels or something, right? Come on over to the Microsoft store, walk on and say, Hey, how you doing? My name is Dan. I'm an artist. You know, I just kind of came here to hang out and check out some of your machines. Is that's okay. Here, have a sticker. Well, well, what do you do then? Well, I'm an illustrator and I, and I like to draw. And, uh, and if it's okay, I like to sit on your Surface Studio and draw for a couple of hours. Is that okay? I won't bother nobody. Sure, try it out. You, have you ever drawn a Surface? Like, yeah, but I, but I really want to try out that big Surface Studio. The Surface Studio is a $3,000 computer. It's a big screen that you can draw on and, and produce your work. It has the Creative Cloud. You may have to log in with your own account to have the programs work, but it works. Make sure you bring a thumb drive and a drink. They'll offer you some water or soda there the longer you hang around in the Microsoft store. But come on through to a Microsoft store, be nice, engage in conversation, and then sit down at one of them big, beautiful machines and start working on the project that you need to have done that day. Do that often enough and you'll, they'll, you'll get to know all the people there. They'll start to like you and maybe you start doing some demos or workshops in the Microsoft Store. They're always open to being friendly to creatives of all types who want to use the Surface for its full power that it's made for. There, that's my tip. Have a backup. Look for ways to create collaborations or opportunities where you have access to more things that you do not own that you wish to use for your projects. All right. This is Delta Tango Mike. Art is King. Check us out on Art is King on um, YouTube. I am Delta Tango Mike. Find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and TikTok. On Patreon, I share a lot of my digital drawing tips and resources, including one-on-one -on -one drawing sessions. So, so hopefully, uh, all of this stuff that I'm sharing with you, you're able to use it. And until next time, hey, start now 2020. Whatever you want to do in life, whatever you want to do in your art career, it's time to start it now. First step today. All right. Peace.